I'll just get rid of it. That's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. I'm pretty sure you're also not supposed to do that. Oh, I just broke the game a little. Now I'm on top of this thing. I don't think that there's a chest up here anywhere. Uh, there is something with this really tall cactus, but I don't know if I'm supposed to know what its deal is yet. Maybe I am supposed to know. Ooh, you give the big steak. Um... Hairloin steak, yes. Delicious. Uh, oh, I am supposed to know. Okay, then. There's a sign here. What does it say? 7N33E. Uh, so let's talk about this cactus here. Uh, so what that equates to is we need to move seven blocks north and then 33 blocks east, I believe. Yeah. That's right. Thank you for the cream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then east. Thirty-three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one. Uh, Thirty-three. Thirty-three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. I believe at this point. To dig down. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, right here. A chest buried inside. What is it? A gold ring. That'll be uh, useful for us. Wonderful, wonderful. There is still that cave that I want, though. I don't know if it's this one or the other one. Well, I know it's not the other one, but it could be this one. Because I didn't fully explore this one. Because I didn't want to deal with all the monsters that were trying to touch me, but... Now that there aren't any monsters, now I can take a peek inside. And pick up the stuff that I left behind. I'm so hungry. Ugh! Who are you? I'm barely can't speak. Throat's too dry. Please give me a, 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 a prick of the peach. Here you go, bud. Oh, all right, I'm back in action. Oh, that is a spot. I know who you are, mate, or where you come from, but you can't, don't get done me a power of good. I came a crop of fighting the monsters. Thought I'd all myself up in here until I got my strength back. And I just go back to the eye now with my tail between my legs. Problem was the monsters monsters built some kind of barricade blocking off the pass. 
So I came back here and I racked my brains trying to come up with a plan. Uh, I was gonna get back to coal. To my food run out, that is. So, what's your story there, mate? You trying to hide from the monsters and all? Are you serious? You and Miss got you to break through the barricade and come and rescue me? Can't believe it. How could a sticky insect like you do all that? Let's leave this explanation to later, eh? We can't have a good old sh we can have a good old shinwag when we're back in coal. Now Burley joins the party. Great. Because uh, darkness is about to set in, and I want to go home. So I can cook all this meat that I have. I would like to do the other thing with the cacti, but I can't do that quite yet. Because I feel like it's better... The better food item is the thing you can do with the cactus, cu cactus cutlets. As a spoiler alert, you can make food with it. And I feel like it's the best food item in the chapter for a while just because there's so freaking much cacti around. Uh, but you may actually want to bring this dude with you because, um, unlike Glutamus, he'll actually fight. So you might want to go through and deal with this, deal with him early. Hey! You don't have, don't have feel good to be back in coal. Cool, and the best are looking better than ever. Did you do that? You're something else, you know. We've never really been able to make him look as smart as all that. Hold on, you ain't the legendary body, body built up. I bet that was going on about, are you? Surely not. After all, it ain't like you've got much of a body to write home about. Ellipses. Well, anyway, thanks for saving me skin. Oh, and if you have need to build it up with that body of yours, just say the word. We're, we're like a body builder you yet. You what? Forget the body pit, you're just a builder. Wah! Don't be so modest, mate. You might be a bag of bones right now, but we'll soon get you into shape. I know, I'll train you myself. Ten days with me and you'll have a six pack and you, you can scrub your smells on. Some sleep. <laughs> I may want to, for now, put a hole right here, just so that we can get in and out quickly. In and out burger. Uh, bunny corn steak. I will make these. Yes, please. I've run out of space. Put all this stuff in here. Great. Except maybe not these crates. Unicorn steak. I suppose I can put these in here. Cool, fly me, love a duck and stone in the crows. We got with some serious hot water in my cupboard. And I ain't talking about the bash neither. The monsters are coming. The monsters are coming. What do you mean they don't usually come this soon? There's nothing usual about them. The monsters around these parts don't do things by halves. The minute you let your guard down, they're on you like a rash. Leave them to you. But, but my cupper, you're just a skinny little shrimp. Are you sure you about this? All right, then. I'm counting on you, my cupper. Are you ready to give those rotten monsters a right roll roll walloping? Cool, blimey. You ain't half brave for a bag of bones. I'll never forget you, my cupper. And here the monsters approach. From the east. Er, no, they're coming from... I thought it was the Weast, but no. Where is it? I can't see it. I, I saw it. Oh, they're coming from over here. Yeah. 
Which is weird, they're not supposed to come from this way, but... Just know this brick isn't doing me too good. I can break through this brick. There we go. Dealt with it. Which means I might need something better than this brick. I might want to wait until I actually make something out of this. Seed of life. I want the fur as well. Uh, let's see. You with the face. Go to bed with, with bells on, my That was a flippin' fantastic. You only wait to wipe the floor with, with all the mobile monsters. You know what, mate? I think you might be that legendary body builder after all. Even if you could do with being a bit less bony. Eh? You ain't the body builder. You're just a builder. All right, all right. Don't get your knickers in a twist. So, you're the builder, are you? Does that mean you're gonna stick around and help us build up our base again? And help us fight back against the monsters? <laughs> Thank you, Mudkipper. Truly, I was so lonely on, on my own. I didn't know what I was gonna do. Now that you're here, we can get cracking. First things first, the monsters put up a barricade off to the south to cut this base off from the rest of the island. Long as the gate's still standing, we'll never be able to get Barbella and the boys back here in one place. If we want to open up the path to the south again, that barricade's got to go. That's where you come in, Mokapa. I want you to go down there, smash open the gate, and give the raw, the wrong and garden a taste of his own medicine. I already did that. Oh, blow it with a plumber on top. You've only done it blowing the blue and barricade down. I knew you could do it, mate. You might be a skinny little sausage, but you break down barriers like a champ. He's in my cupboard. The fights, the fight back's begun. But there's two things we really gotta take care of before we can really start showing the monsters who's boss. First, we gotta brown up all the lads again and bring them back to our base. Then we gotta go and spring Barbella out of Monsters Lockup. As soon as we've got the game back together, it'll be time to take on the Magmanus. Or Magma. Yeah, I think it's the Magmanus. The big boss of the monsters who's got the whole coal under his thumb. Take all Flame Fingers out and we gotta have. and we'll have won the war. Monsters around these parts are as tough as an old pair of pants, but with you up, I reckon we can knock some sense into them. You might only be a twiggy little thing with biceps like knotted string, but I'll count on you, Mudkipper. You have three Chimera wings, nice. Tasty. Mm, fishing rod, a broken branch, a cord, and a prickly peach. I think I actually really want to make this, because I think this is how we'll get our squids. I believe, yeah, I believe this is how we'll get our squids and how we will feed ourselves for a bit. Where's the nearest bit of water? Probably over there, ain't it? Yeah, ain't it? I'll save that steak for a later. Since it gives us an attack buff and all. Pretty sure this gives us squeeze. Right? I don't know, it gives you sardines, which is not as desirable because that needs coal, I'm pretty sure. A broken branch, huh? Not entirely what I want, but. A oh, chimera feather. A squid might be a rare thing, actually. He says as he gets one. Sardine. Mm. Or try to at least. Oh, another squid. Great. I don't know, get rid of some of these blocks in my inventory. Ugh. Oh, I'm 
make another room. Or make a second floor to some of these uh, things that I have. Not the public baths though, because I need to I'll need to fully renovate that area. So much squid. Well, I'll be sure to come back here later. With all those items. Where do I want a second floor though? Uh well I would recommend that you don't put a second floor onto this building or over here. Not on your baths or over here, because this this area kinda needs to have an open ceiling. I guess I could do a second floor here, couldn't I? Could I? No, not that. There. This doesn't need to be one whole room. So I could probably do a similar layout as to the one that I have here. Placement for it would be though. I don't know what would be a better choice. No, that's not how I want that. Excuse you. I'm gonna do your spin attack. Right. So yeah, uh, Colin Gallenholm, Gallenholm, uh, combat heavy. In case in point, we're already having monsters come and attack us. having the, the beasties come and trying to touch us. Already having the monsters come. Cause yeah, they didn't come this early. They didn't, they didn't try to cause us problems this early in Rimuldar and Cantlin. That's for certain. Save the rest for later. I should make some of this. Great. Put the rest of these in there. Put these in there as well. I will leave the bucket in there. I'm gonna go pick up the items that I left behind. Especially the squids, because I don't think I need coal for that. Hello, I'm sorry I left you. If 
fish one more time. I hope nothing comes to try and touch me though. Perfect. Right. <clears throat> Back here. Back at home base. here. And these require coal. And these, the squid on the sticks don't require any coal. A yeah, meaty mantle of marine mollusk sizzle on a skewer. It's kind of annoying that you need a prickly, you need to bust down the barricade before you can actually start making these, but... Yummy. The lines on the top of it makes it look like a bread. A stick of bread. Anyways. Time for more quest. You with the face! Alright, my kipper, now that we've punched it all, and all in the barricade, we can get on with the next part of the plan. Oh, you fancy reading heading on down there, monster infested territory, and rescue my mates. I picked up a distress signal on my pecs. The lads are somewhere south of Barrier, and they're in a bit of drop bit of bother. It ain't just them I'm worried about. We're gonna need all the help we can get to spring my belly out of Nick. It's about time we got all the boys back to get his shoulder up to those monsters who's, who they're messing with. Go on, boy, keep it, get yourself south of the barricade and save the lads. My friends are so important to me, I should come with you. Uh, I can't. If I'm away from the night out for five minutes, I'll break out in a rash. No joke or lie. I'd love to come with you, really, I would, but you'll have to take care of this one on your own. What are you glaring at me like that for? It's the truth. I ain't scared of the monsters, says, if that's what you're thinking. Look, we ain't got the time for this. Just get yourself through the barricade and bring back my mates. Oh, fine. Well, but my buns are called me a crumpet. Burn his back. Well, we all got split up like the monsters when the monsters came and smashed up coal. But if we could get the gang back together, we can take the fight back to the monsters. As soon as the boys are back in action and we've got, we've tracked down where the monsters are taking Barbella, we could bust her out of there. And if anyone knows where those bloodies have taken Barbella and our other mate, Burley will. Don't give up, Barbella. I'm coming for you. Who's Barbella? Who ain't she, more like? She's the leader of our gang, the woman of our dreams, and the queen of our arts. She's the mo she's our mother, our lover, our sister, and our friend. But most of all, she's our one and only hope. But now the monsters have got the rotten, dirty mitts on her. We've got we've got to get her back if it's the last thing we do. Boy Kipper, will you do me a favor? When the time comes to break Barbella out of the clink, will you come with us? Let me tell you something, Boy Kipper, just between you and me. Barbella likes a nice hot bath better than anyone, better than anyone. So we break her out of there, out of that cold stick in prison, she's gonna want to get cleaned all over, if you know what I mean. I'll say no more, but if you ain't enough to convince you how to help, I don't know what is. I could just need a life for that. I guess that's the best out of this. Now it's time to talk to you. <sighs> Hope up Ella's not back yet then. I should have never got my hopes up. Last time I saw her, she was being carried off by the monsters since she looked in a bit of a bad way. Whatever the rod has taken her, we've got to get in there and break her out sharpish. The only thing is, it's going to take more than prawn than we've got in to get her out in one piece. That's why you come in, my kipper. You know how people say, you are what you eat? Well, I was about making me a massive protein pack bear to bulk me up in a bit. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm a vegetarian. You don't want to know how much grass I've got to eat just to keep myself in shape. Ugh. But if you mean kipper, I know you can cook me a meal while I'll make my biceps bulge. When I first met you in the mine, you picked me out of the juiciest prickly, prickly peach I've ever tasted. I can't wait to see what you can do with the rest of the cactus. Go on, kipper, make me a delicious, nutritious cactus dinner that will we'll put even muscles on my chest. Inspiration. A cactus steak, a fragrant and filling fillet of flame grilled cactus. This is the really, really good thing we can do with cacti. Because I believe it doesn't require any coal. Oh no, it does. We need two cactus cutlets and one coal will make us. Uh, it's one cactus cutlet, yeah. One cactus steak. But it's really good. 
corn. That's what I call a steak. Come on, then, my cup. Add it over. There you go. Mmm, that steak smells absolutely gorgeous. I can feel my biceps get big already. As much as war kidnap Barbella won't know what did him. Why'd they kidnap her in the first place? Uh, I don't know, really. After they caught her, they were saying, trying to get her to tell them about something. But the Barbella wasn't have any of it. She got a tight lip, that one. When she wouldn't talk, the monsters got proper miffed and took her away away with them. The goddess only knows what they're trying to get her to say. But anyway, my Kappa, thanks for the steak. Once I got this down on me and I've all the strength I need to into the monsters' lair and bring back Barbella. I guess it's fight call for that, great. I know what to do with this call. Make more steak. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be making a whole bunch of cactus steak just because it's so amazing. And because there's like a billion cacti around. Hello. My keep out the old water, we're in just got all the order. Did it. This ain't no time to be stuffing your face with cactus. The monster's gonna wait for you over some cooking. Wait for your own cooking and they're coming to take a bite. What's that? I don't know the monsters are coming before they get you. Cool, blimey, ain't it obvious? They're the ears of my pecs are standing up. And when they, when you say yes, that'll be their signal to attack. What, my cup, are you ready to rumble? Yes. Uh, oh, my poor stomach. I wish I could help you, but I got this terrible tummy ache. Hey, it must have been something I ate. Anyway, I reckon I'm I gonna have to sit this one out. Be lucky, my kipper. Oh, so you're not gonna help. Great, thanks. Ah, you're coming from here. I know they, they come from the south, but eventually they will come from the east. It's just that for now they're coming from the, the south. Iron sword. Hey, 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 hold on. So this area is kind of wide open. Owie. That really hurt. Oh yes, you're here. But you're gonna be causing me problems. Case in point. Take this. No, you've broken that. How dare you? Oh, you're invincible. There we go. Place down my stairs again. No! That looks bad. You have three pots of healing cream. Which is great. Um, the next thing I want to do is make another room. Or just set up a room. Set up the foundations for more rooms. I think I will divide this one. I think this one will just be two rooms. Or I'll leave this space open, rather. Because uh, I think they do actually want you to build a lot uh, in this chapter. Or at least the, the town will become really cramped if you don't stack up your buildings like this. Extra fighting off the monsters, but Kepa, you really showed him who's boss. You know, without your help. Why didn't I help you? Uh, I weren't scared of nothing. I had a tummy ache, didn't I? I do, you, uh, you can't expect me to fight with a tummy ache. But anyway, <laughs> you must be tired from all that fighting. I know you want to get Barbella back as much as I do, but if you don't get a good night's sleep every once in a while, you'll waste away. 
I know, why don't you take a break from fighting and build me in Bradley's bedroom? You don't fancy, just a couple of straw mattresses and some, some of the uh, lighted up would do us just fine. What do you mean, why only two beds when there's more than two of us? That's... Um, uh, don't worry about it, just build us a bedroom, will ya? Cool, blimey, what a bedroom. Thanks for me there, mate. Building, building up your muscles is just, uh, just like cooking a steak after, you, after you've given a good grin. You gotta let it rest if you wanna wanna get nice and juicy. Well, Bella will kill me if she sees me like this. I've gotta get some sleep and plop up my pecs. What's that? You reckon Barbella sounds a bit scary? You might be right there. She ain't the sort of woman you wanna get on the wrong side of, but deep down, she's a sweet flower you could ever wanna meet. Time was she was fighting against the monsters on her own. It was it was every man for himself. Until the day that Barbella showed up, she brought us all together and got us organized. Without her around to keep us all in line, we won't stand a chance. We gotta get it back if it's the last thing we do. Oh, and there, uh, here you go, my kipper. This is for you. My way of saying thanks for fighting off the monsters. It's your bed. I made it myself. Told you not to worry about making an extra one, didn't I? Happy now, ain't ya? From now on, you'll have my friendly feelings woman your back every single night. I need a straw mattress for that. Too bad I don't need it. But I'll place it down anyways. Uh, right. Actually, I should make a chase. <laughs> Miner's refinery. There we go. Uh, I don't have the means to make a sign, though. Uh, because you can make, like, better versions of whatever with the miner's refiner and such. Yes, okay. More kipper, more kipper. It's an emergency. While we was dilly dying about building that bedroom, Bertie remembered something. He remembered where the monsters took our other mate. Apparently, he saw the horrible things dragging him off to a little fortress they built off in the southwest. If we're lucky, he's still there. You better take Bertie with you and get him out of there as quick as you can. What do you mean, take Bertie with you? What do you mean? What do you think I mean? I want you and Bertie to go down that fortress together and bust out our mate. You ain't tell me you never headed out of, out of town with one of your friends before, are you? If you've got a mate with you, you can watch each other's backs and take out the strongest monsters without burning an eyelid. But don't get too cocky. That fortress is as well as built as I am. If you want to get inside, you're going to have to go through the front door. And no, and no doubt the monsters will have our mate pretty well guarded. If I was you, I'd equip the best gear I could find before I went down there, and I'd take plenty of medicine, too. But he's already kidded out and raring to go. When you're ready to head out uh, there and save a bait, just give him a shout. Uh, so this introduces a new mechanic of having party members. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know where. Oh, he's right here. I talked to him. Oh, you talked to Glutinous, right? Come on then, let's body up and go bash the beds together. I know we, I know we ain't know each other for long, but don't worry, I'll show you the ropes. How's about it, my cover? You ready to make a move? Yes. All right, you, I'll, you watch my back and I'll watch yours. So now we have uh, Burley with us. Uh, I guess this is as good as I've got. So now we've got a friend with us. Great. So yes, he will travel with us and he will go beat up monsters that hurt him or that we hurt. See, look. He's fighting alongside us. And I think it's all enemies that are aggroed on you he will go and beat up in the face. Where, 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 where? Now our goal was uh, that thingy that I saw accidentally over here. If you'll remember. I should get more coal. No, I shouldn't, because my inventory is kind of full. I do want to avoid this guy's stare, though. So he's going to cause me some problems. If I don't stay away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yes, over here. You remember, right? I remember. So let's reapproach. The Guardians of the Fort appear! In we go! Let's check out these, uh... These, uh, mage dudes. Which they catch their, um... Zappy magic. There we go, conquered the fort. Uh, inside this chest is a key. That is unfortunate. I guess I'll eat this early on. Key! Hello there. What? what? Yeah, rescue me. Good clue to me, set ya. It's nice to see your friendly face. Even if it is a bit funny looking. I'm Maxie. Who are you? So seriously, you're the legendary bird everyone's going on about. Cool. I never would have thought you you from the looks of ya. Anyway, ya can tell me all about it once we're back in the hideout. Let's get out of here. So now we have Maxie from Team Magma. Uh, there's also these things here. Vile tiles. I suppose I could bring them with me. Bring them back to the base with me. I get some sticks while I'm at it. So Max is pretty big. Big man. Big dude. Big big man. Oh, he also uses a, a sword as well. Although in his case, he's using a, a cypress stick. I might as well use a kind of wing, actually. Instead of walking all the way back. Back home! Alright, and whenever you return back, uh, all your party members will be like, I'm done, and they'll leave your party. Leave the party. Uh, I should drop off this sanded sandstone. Great. Oh, you made straw flooring, good for you. Good for you, mate. And here, I should move all this stuff. Mm, keep it all in one thing. All of the materials into one container. Move the bucket in there. The bucket shall stay in there. Excuse me. Oh, interesting. The enemies can't hit allies like that. Alright, Maxie. Thanks a million, mate. I never would have got back here in one piece if it weren't for you. You've done a lovely job on the, on the best, you know. If Glutamus and Birdie tried fixing them up, they would have made a right piggy of it. There ain't no doubt about it. You're the builder, all right. Well, I've heard about you, you know. The way you built Catelyn back up and got and got Rimuldar on the mend. Not only that, but you pulled up all the people of Alethgard by the bootstraps and got them building again. It's nice to finally meet someone who knows how, how to build more than just their body. <laughs> as soon as as soon as Bob Bell is back, we'll be able to get rid of uh, rid of that Magmatis and get Cole back on its way. It was talking about Bob Bell. I think I know where the monsters might have taken her. But before we get into that, I reckon I a quick dip. I'm as sticky as a sea slime in a sauna. You need to have nice to be back. It's due time. Great. Oh boy. 
got me all right in my scene things. Was that my old mate Maxie? Thanks for busting, busting man. I clinked my kipper. Maxie, my talk like a big, a bit of a lemon, but he knows his onions. What? Is there anything you want to know? He's the one to ask. So did you end up taking Bertie along with you in the end? When it comes to fighting monsters, there's only one thing more important than your muscles, and that's your friends. Give them a shot before you head out into the wilds, and they'll tag along. No questions asked. Oh, come on, I never take along with you. How many times I gotta tell you? I can't. I mean, I leave the eye out, I get a nosebleed. Honestly, you just it's like someone's there to tap on. Uh, I'm not scared of anything, if anything, if that's what you're thinking. He's definitely scared. What's your mind, Kipper? Now they were, now that all the boys are back together, I was about taking your bodybuilding to the next level. Ellipses. Hold on, that ain't right. A bodybuilding's our job. It's base building I want you to take care of. You know, I said you yeah, got. It was some sort of legendary builder. Well, I asked Max, Max about it, and he told me the old story. I couldn't get me head around in most of it, but it sounds like you go around the world building everything that's broken back up again. So I was about building cold up and all. Check these, my kipper. I, f I can feel a tingle in my triceps. It's only a matter of time before the monsters attack again. So before they do, I want you to build a coal into a proper fortress. Make the place bigger, better, and barely, better than it, when it's ever been before. Nice work, my cover. This place is looking better already. I know for just my imagination, but you're looking a bit better yourself. Not that you had any beef on you to begin with. It's hard to believe a puny little pedal like you could be a legendary, legendary anything. Still, <laughs> you can't argue with results. The kind of stuff your builder, your buildings on an old another level and anything I could ever come up with. And that's got me thinking. I don't know if I've ever seen him, but the Magmatis Row rules these parts. He's got his army of man's dance to flames. Probably with those things is, no matter how hard you bash him, it won't, it won't ever leave a scratch. But with your super special building powers, maybe you could make some kind of weapon or with that. That what would? True, she is Papella is the only one of us who knows anything about building stuff. Before she joined up with us, she was some of an adventure, dreaming up all kinds of weapons to use against the monsters. Oh, you're like a dad. Uh, I bet if you and Papella bang your heads together, you'd be able to come up with something amazing. If we're gonna win this war, we're gonna need Barbella's help. That's why we gotta get her back, quick as quick smart. I get some meat. Uh, but I th think I want to defeat some. Uh, some, uh, chimeras. Get me hands on their feathers and get some uh, coal as well. That'd be nice. <laughs> So up here is our end of chapter portal. Uh, I think I got plenty of fur right now. You with the face. Oh, critical hit. Nice. Uh, of course, I won't say no to eggs either. Take this. Thank you. Oh, you don't always drop the feather, the eggs. That's unfortunate. Excuse me. Thank you. You missed. Oh, an egg. Great. I can make a poached egg with that, actually. Or not a poached egg, a soft boiled egg. Howie. I need to eat this. Ow! Do your worst. Don't run away. Do 
doing your worst means not running away. I mean, staying right here where I can hit you. Stop running away! Yeah. Are you saying you don't want to die? Which is understandable. But also, I don't care. Alright. Take your lumps. I don't know how many feathers I want to grab, but I know I want to grab a lot. Stop. Stop running away. Stop running away. Man, you gave me so many eggs. Well, I don't need this many eggs. That'd be good. War, war, war. I don't know. We'll see about it. I think I'll do the. I'll decide while I look for more. Yes. <laughs> 